pretty decent view of the lake here. A lot of traffic, which I don't like. But what I'd like to do is see if there's a way to hike up the back side of this. I know there's an issue with falling rocks here and whatever, but I'd still like to give it a shot. There's a place to do hiking up the road here, but there's always like a thousand cars parked there and I don't want to hike with, you know, a bunch of other people. I think if I go up around here and up the back of this, I might be able to get up there. Maybe I'll give it a shot. So I don't think there's actual trails here. Maybe there is. It's just a whole lot of what you're seeing right now. <laughs> boulders animals I'm assuming might be some eastern rattlers up here who knows I'm wondering if there's a trail that goes up around the back because I obviously can't go up right here it's probably a little too steep boy some massive boulders here That's like almost straight up. Huge rocks right up there. This, it's, this isn't all that high. It's just a slope. But this looks like, I don't know why this looks like a trail to me. This looks like something cuts in, like right there where it's a little lower. I think I can go around the back. Just take my time, I'm not gonna rush. I'm not running up there. This is the first time I've lived here for years and I've never been over here. All you can hear is the traffic still. That's like straight up there. Again, it, it's the height, it's not that high, it's just. It's very difficult, but this looks like to me I can come around and then go up this way. I guess the one good thing about the traffic is there's no way you can get lost. You always know where you're at. Wow, that looks like a cave. I don't think that'd be deep enough for a bear. Well, maybe? No, I don't know. And there are bear around here. I just saw one run across the street last week. Right up the street from here. They're not terribly active this time of year, but who knows? I probably should have a horn or some Air spray, pepper spray with me or something, but uh, to see one would be pretty rare. So I'll just go with what I'm doing. But this is the back side I'm talking about. It's still steep. But not like it was. See if I make enough noise here. And that's the thing, nine times out of ten, you see pretty much any animal. They don't want nothing to do with you anyway. Let's see, see sort. Rather than. Okay. So you can see my car down there. So, like I said, rather than coming up here, 
over here, that is almost at the face of what I was showing you. I still think if I just keep shifting over this way a little bit, maybe even around the back of that, um, I'll be okay. So what I'll do, turn this off, and uh, when I get up around this little mess here, I'll start recording again. All right. So, um, like I said, I went around. It's almost like steps. Um, the ground's pretty soft. But you're starting to see we're coming to the back of that face right there. Once I get up there, it's just pretty much flat. You can see through here the rocks. See the opening in that one right there. Pretty cool. I know we obviously I see wild animals and, and we kind of fantasize about things. I always think <laughs> there's something living in those little cracks there, but who knows? But you can see from all the moss. Like I said, it's it's soft, but I'm still keeping my footing. It's like not. That's why I wanted to go this way because it's not it's not really steep over here. Like I said, it's like almost like massive steps. I'm gonna instead of going around there, I'll just let me cut up through here because now it's pretty easy to walk. This is not as slick as I thought it would be because the pine needles. So check this out. Hmm. Better view of the lake up here too. When you're at the scenic spot, you're kind of blocked by all the trees. So, and like I said, I don't know the height of this or if this little ridge has a name. I mean, I've only lived here 30 years, I should know, but. See how it kind of flattens out now? <laughs> so I'll keep going up here and find a place. There is wire on the on these rocks and it's because there are falling rocks. I've seen traffic stopped here recently because there was a bunch of rocks in the road. So I'm going to be careful where I go on the edge. Not that my weight would cause anything, but we'll see what it looks like. I'll, uh, I'll start recording again when I'm over there. So this is cool that I'm approaching here. Look at that's Lake Winnipesaukee. Oh wow, look at this. It's got a nice place to stand. Look out almost all the way to Alton Bay. Beautiful. This is the view I wanted of the lake. I think I can get a better one. Now, obviously, this is one solid rock. No loot, nothing loose here. There's the road. It's such a huge lake. Look at that, the color chains. You get this gray. Like snow up here. <laughs> Lonesome rock right here. Beautiful. Now I'm right behind the area I want to be. Well, look at that. So, someone's obviously, some people come up here and camp. So, that's good. Oh, well, look at that. That's pretty cool. The rock is split. That's pretty amazing. This is massive too. Let's get around it. 
look at it from the side. I should climb up it and look down, but it's, uh, let me see. Well, I don't think I went to get this here on purpose. Unless somebody rolled it. I don't know if I can get on top of it or not. Huh. I actually, me, I doubt it. I probably could over there against those trees. But I won't worry about that right now. I don't want to take chances. Plenty of life in these trees. And what I mean is something living. See all these little holes. You know, tree kind of looks dead. But yeah, it's a bunch of little areas like this where it flattens out. Like I said, it's almost like massive steps on the way up. So you walk up for a couple minutes and boom, you got a flat spot. A little more. This seems to be the top though. I'm just sort of behind the, the cliff I saw from the road. So I'm actually going down. Let's see. I mean, obviously, I just had to walk this way, but I want to get to a nice landing spot. Or I can kind of look down on that, that edge. Yep, so you can see now I'm be on the way down. So I gotta kinda stick over here, I think, and just go straight out there. So I'll uh I'll go a little ways more and show you what's going on. So I can see the road right there. Um, I don't know if I'm actually going to get right to the edge of what I was looking at there. It might not be possible. Right there it's almost straight down rest area or scenic group, scenic area. I'm sorry. I have to go down here to get Close that is. Yep, and there's something parked over there across the street now. So I'm like right on the edge of that cliff. Someday I might actually climb up, not the face of the rocks, but take this steeper route. I'm not feeling a little better, but I'm fine today. I just didn't really feel like. Uh, I'll do it someday. There's another nice little clearing here. I can see people walking down there, so I'm I'm right I'm right near the edge. Like I said, it's just straight down, so that's probably why I'm going right there. I just gotta be careful. This is why I worry about places like this as forest fires because. You can see all this old dried up, especially in there, just stacks and stacks of this dried up old brush. So, I don't know. People did clear some of that. It's very, very uh, cramped with that kind of thing. Holy crap. Look at that view. Well, are you ready? I don't want to go too close because I know it's slick right there. But this is the view of the lake I wanted right here. Look at that. And this is where I was talking about. Now, <laughs> I can already feel it in my chest. I don't want to walk out there. <laughs> but let's just check this out. Some jet skis power boats but this is just an absolutely beautiful view I literally can feel it in my gut in my chest in my groin I swear to god I'm not joking it's maybe it's fear but yes it's straight down and I don't want to get too close to that edge <laughs> 
hate to say that. I'm scared to death, but I mean, I don't do really risky things. Now, you can see the traffic passing just below this edge right here. That's what I mean, it's just flat. So, I just wanna stay where I have my footing. I don't wanna be stupid. If I had something to maybe tie off right here and just kind of work my way down, not on the cliff. I mean, cause it does flatten out right there. I just don't trust these rocks because I mean, they have the, the falling rock signs for a reason. And I have seen them in the road. Oh well, yeah, you can see some of the islands out there. This is a big lake. All right, so I'm gonna actually take some pictures and I'll start recording again after that. So I started to crawl a little bit more, just scooting my way down. And as you can see, that just is a straight drop. I'm just uh, securing myself against some stumps and things like that here. And there's people pulling over for the scenic spot. <laughs> this is a way better scenic area up here. I can actually see the lake. So yeah, again, you're going toward Alton Bay there. And I'll stand up and show you the rest of it here. If anybody can see me up here, I got like I'm crazy. Or they're gonna know I'm crazy. I'm not sure how to, how to uh, say that. I should yell down. Tell them there's a way better view up here. And it's not a difficult hike. It's not that high. It's, it's just not. But I'm going to show you something. If you can see the traffic coming through right here. If you see the road through here. You see the cars right there. So it is. It's just flat. So. Not difficult. I'm not sweating even. I'm not breathing heavy. So it wasn't difficult to get up here. And I wonder why I didn't come up here before. But still me, uh, I won't go to that edge. There's just no way. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Maybe some experts could do that. And they could tell me how to tie off and do whatever. I just wanted a really nice view of the lake. And there it is. So Lake Winnipesaukee, I believe they claim there's over 300 islands, as small as they might be right there. There's a much better view up here. I believe it. <laughs> and no, I didn't climb the face of it. I went around. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. So. I'll try another climb, not the face of it, obviously, but I'll come around maybe up through over here more toward the, just the other side of the cliffs where it's more like straight up. Cause I do like to get a good workout like that. And you can see it's not that high because you can hear the motors of the boats. You can see the water skiers, tubers, whatever they're doing. So yeah, I'll show you what it's like around here. I'm gonna go try to get some video of some eagles again today. So I'm in Alton right now. I'm gonna take a drive out to Franklin. There's a spot down at the Pema Jawasset River. There's eagles flying through all the time. I got a video of one last week. Not great. I waited for him once he landed. I figured I saw some fish jumping, so I thought he might come down. Well, he or she might come down and grab a fish, but I didn't. Um, I guess it wasn't hungry. So I waited and then it flew away, sort of along the tree line, so I, I couldn't get a good shot of it. But yeah, check that out. <laughs> This is a, like I told them, it's a much better view. <laughs> it's a much better view up here. So I want you to see, if you can see down there, the fencing, the wire, and that is, like I
like I said, right down in there, you can see it's like wire. And that's because of the falling rocks. And you can see how they kind of, they kind of cut straight. They just kind of fall off, I guess. Um, I hope the one I'm sitting on doesn't, but I think I'm pretty scared right here. But like I said, I'm not walking down here. I'm not, I just can't. Somebody else could do it. Again, they could probably show me, but if you look, it is, like I said, if you look at the face, it's just straight down. But I'm, I'm not going over there. No way in hell. If, if right here, that area kind of flattened off a little bit, and then there was that, I probably would. But because there's a slope, and I don't trust that stump, even though I had my foot out against it earlier, but um, yeah. It's fine. I'm not gonna take risks. I just wanna get the ultimate view. And I know Mount Major, obviously, that's where everybody goes. But again, I, I don't want to go hiking with 3,000 other people. It's, to me, that's not fun. You know, you go there and you'll see a line of cars like for a couple miles. It's like, really, guys? Does everybody have to come here at the same time? But, you know, it's a tourist state. That's just the way it is. So maybe after Labor Day, I'll, I'll do a weekday. I'll take a, a day off or half a day off because I have a cool job like that. And I will go up Mount Major because I haven't been up there yet. And you get amazing views up there, obviously. It's much higher than this. So I was up there. I want to take a step down into here um, to see if maybe I can get a, a view of the, the ledges from this angle. I want to take a look at something first though. Not that I should be getting too close to anything that I think might be too crazy. Oh yeah, I bet you something be hibernating under there. It's weird as a boulder, you see it's like held up, it looks like, from this smaller rock right here. And look at the ferns, it's like, it's got some hair. But these clearings here are so beautiful, and it's so soft. I mean, obviously, it's raw rock up here, but look at that all through here. So they still, you know, you have the, the wire down there to hold the rock. I guarantee you still have rocks rolling down from here, but luckily, um, I'm assuming that the trees catch most of it. So there's a little clearing right here. I end right there, but I'll uh, stick to this one. Oh yeah, okay. I see a little, it's like, I see now uh, what I can do. Well, again, we got to we're at the edge of the cliff here. And this is just so unbelievably soft right here. It's like a cushion. Yeah, you can see the, the edge right there. The ledges. The edges of the ledges. Look at that. Now, that I might walk on. Again, if it was flatter and not sloped, it'd be an easier decision for me. I guess I'm a wimp when it comes to that. But I'll... Uh, I'll get over here, because this rock is out right here. I didn't even really see. And that right there, I'm talking about how flat all the way down to the ground. It's just straight down. Pretty cool. Again, the beautiful lake. Let's see, there's like a little, it's like concave right there. It's like a, almost like a bowl. Let me go over here. Yeah, it's like this really soft little landing right here. It's pretty neat. And right there, now that's a little more flatter. And again, like I said, it's, yes, it seems high. It's not, this is not high at all. That's why I got up here in just a couple minutes. I don't want to do it from here. Let's see if I can go around. 
it's all first time here for me, just experimenting. But there are all these little spots, like I said, all the way up and along this, this the, uh, the ledges, there's all these little landing spots. It's flat enough. Like here, obviously the slope. But luckily I have roots, roots and stumps. Don't want to trip over them. Nice. You can see the edge there. And this one is pretty flat actually. It's a nice flat rock. Yep, there we go. Oh yeah. That one's too slanted. It, I'm not gonna step on that. I'm only stepping on this one because it's flatter. Oh yeah. A little adventure today. I'll check this out from this angle. You see this too. It's neat. Again. Yeah. It's quite a little adventure. So if you want a fairly short hike with pretty amazing views, and when people look at the face of it, they think, oh, how'd you hike that? But like I said, you just, you just go around the back. And I've been thinking about doing this for a couple of years. And I finally said today, it's not as humid. It's not as hot. Even though I don't mind the heat, but you know, why not go hiking where everybody else does not? So, all right. I'm out of here. Hopefully I go get some video of some eagles today.